What was up my friends? Uh, Still Air here. My name is Roy, in case you didn't know. Those of you not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. We got some air gun content coming later down the road. Right now I want to try and fix this Saya where it is falling out of the scabbard very easily. And uh, to do that, we have to uh, put a piece of wood in the haw area of the Saya. This is the first time I've ever tried this. Uh, I don't know anything about what I'm doing. I couldn't find any small pieces of veneer wood. I, the wood I would actually need, I'd have to order online. So what I'm going to attempt to use is some wood shims. With some very, it has a very thin edge on it. I found it at my local hardware store. These are actually for sh these are actually for shimming doors and windows when you put them in. Let's see. So I can find a very good one here. The ends of these are very thin. I can get it on camera. It's really thin. I think it should work pretty good. Uh, so in order to do this, the high area right up in here is going to be where we have to uh, glue a thin piece of that down in there up against this this side here inside so that way the hibaki hopefully catches it and tightens up on it on the front side here so let me get started here I'm trying to figure out what size I need It's really thick up at this end. Let's mark it out here. Don't know actually how thick I need this thing. Let's not cut my charging cord in half. I need something to mark that a little better, maybe like a pencil, very fine lead pencil. I do not have any. Let's try, hey, actually, I can see my mark down here in the light, so I may not need that pencil. That was a very thin piece. That is the size of piece I need. Very small. Compared to a toothpick, that's about the size of that. And it has to go down in this hot area right, right up in here. It's kind of hard to do this when my fingers are going to be in the way. It has to go inside there inside that area hopefully this is not too thick if it is I if it is too thick I can file it down later let's hope so let's go ahead and try this I'm gonna glue it in there with some E6000 I think I can't get this thing open Close your tools, even though you have a very sharp sword setting up here. This looks awful thick to me, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this piece 
I, I'm gonna cut this piece that I cut. I cut it out of here this way. I'm gonna cut it off the very thin edge this way. So I'm just too so scared that that is too thick. Let's try to open this again. Mm. Aha, I got it with the power. And I actually I went and got pliers when you weren't looking. Not gonna take very much of this. Okay, now we'll let that dry. We'll let that dry in there. And hopefully that will tighten it up. And we'll uh, put the sword in there later on. I'll come back and it'll be a time lapse for you. And we'll see how it holds up. Steel layer here, what's going on? How you doing? Well, we're back here with the other part. Whoop, let's not break it. We're back here where I inserted the, uh, that wood shim into the ha area, into this top area here. It's been a few days. After I tried that uh, 6,000 adhesive, it, uh, it did not stick I had to take it back out and uh, file some of the some of these uh, sires have wax inside of them to keep it uh, coated coat the wood and uh, that glue did not stick so I had to take a, a file here this file is like triangular in shape but it has flat sides on it where you and it's very tiny where I could uh, get it inside of there and file some of that uh, some of that wax out, so I could use wood glue. I used a wood glue and glued that little shim in there. And today it's been uh, like a a whole day and however long it was last night, a few hours, and it's dried. And I tried to put the sword in here and it was so tight that the habaki would stop. So I had to take this file again and file down the shim some more. So it's really, really, really thin. But uh, all in all, the sword goes in. It does not fall out. 
all that work it is it's pretty tight it takes a little effort oops it takes a little effort to get break it loose but I figure it will wear in the more I take it in and out a little assist with the uh, thumb and the pull and it comes right out trying to pull it out without using let me get this on the camera trying to pull it out without using a thumb it, it's really hard but when they put the thumb out to push it comes right on out of there that's how you're supposed to do it anyway but this soup is so small that it's hard to get a thumb on it but little thumb assist it comes right out of there but it this seemed to have worked out pretty good like I said a few in and outs it should wear uh, it should wear it down a little bit. You can see, you can barely see any wood left in there. I may file a little more. I'm not sure yet. I'm hoping that will wear in. And uh, it worked. No more falling out. It's safe. It is not going anywhere. So there you go. Uh, that's, that's how you shim your hoff to keep your loose sword from falling out and to keep you a little bit safe. So y'all have a great night. Still air is gone.